Hello, my name is Andy Young. I'm a security solutions architect at Ixia Keysight. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, Ixia Threat Armor. This is the, um, the graphical interface for, for Threat Armor that you're looking at now. And before I go any further, let's just talk about what your security infrastructure might look like. You might have an X-Gen firewall, an IPS, you may well have some anti-spam solution, some anti-malware solution. Maybe you've got something that extracts payload and uh, sandboxes files to, to find out if they're malicious or not. Maybe you've got a SIEM platform that takes feeds from all of those security platforms and alerts your security team in the SOC. Well, all of those solutions are absolutely wonderful. They all do a, a great job. They're typically not cheap. And you know, if you're getting them to, to perform a function, they will ultimately use resources. So my question to you is, why are you using those valuable resources to check on traffic from parts of the world where you don't do business? or let's say some site that is known to be hosting malicious content. Well, that's what Threat Armor does for you. So it is a hardware platform. It sits in line in front of your firewall. And um, the, whether we're blocking one IP address or four billion, it doesn't matter to us. The architecture is, is such that we don't take uh, a hit in performance. So the way this works is that as a user, you can uh, have a look at this dashboard and see some, some useful stats. What are the top blocked countries? Maybe you can see what are the top allowed countries um, and also the bottom allowed countries. You could look at this and say, well, this is odd. I don't do business in Somalia. I'm going to block it. That action that I've just taken there has now blocked all of the IP address blocks in Somalia. And so Threat Armor will drop those packets and not forward them on to your firewall. If you decided, well, actually, I have an office in Iraq, but I'm seeing a lot of traffic coming from Iraq, and I don't think that's all coming from my office. So I want to now go in and define the IP address of the office in Iraq. I can define that there. And then that will allow the traffic from there. I could then go back to the dashboard and click this button here and say, block everything coming from Iraq. Now, um, firewalls can block. Uh, they can uh, have allow and deny lists. They take up resources. Uh, they typically won't be able to block, um, you know, blocking the country is sometimes quite a complex thing to do. There's lots of IP blocks. Um, uh, it doesn't matter to us. We can go in and block massive IP ranges by country as simple as that. So that's how we would block according to kind of user configuration. So, so we've decided we're not gonna accept connections from these countries that we don't do business. And I'm now not gonna burden all of my valuable security resources um, in, in having to, to, to check from there. So that's, that's a very useful feature, right? Now, I mentioned earlier, maybe we want to block, um, you know, according to maybe malicious activity so you know what I can do is is have a look at the last um, IP address range here. Now, if I just go here and have a look at this screen here, so what I can do is look at all of the uh, IP addresses that have been blocked. Let's have a look at this top one here. This one um, is hosted in in Russia, and we can see here that this site is hosting malware. So how does this work? Well, we have an application threat intelligence team at Ixia 
and their role is to generate application threat intelligence um, based on you know research into what sites are hosting you know malicious content which sites are um, you know hosting you know attacks or hosting phishing sites etc and it's very important to understand that, that we don't do this based on reputation we don't say to you we think you should maybe block this because there's maybe 45 percent chance of this is hosting malware we give you a rap sheet we say to you this uh, ip ad has, address has been blocked because it was hosting malware this specific url um, and we actually scanned it um, sometime earlier uh, today so again all of the the malware that we find being hosted on this site we will um, alert you to you can uh, even see here that any local ip addresses that have been accessing or, or you know attempted to to access this malicious site you know are blocked as well so it will block outgoing to malicious sites now can you imagine if all of these ip addresses here actually connected to this site here that was you know hosting malware you then have the potential of all of these ip addresses being in infected so you, you can even look at the uh, ip information here as well and you can see all the various different dates that we've scanned so we we do uh, you know dns reverse dns and we're going and looking at all of the associated host names and um, to this ip address here so that is you know us blocking based on what we know to be uh, a malicious site you can actually configure those settings so you can go in here and say you know well actually i want to have updates pushed um, you know, every five minutes or every hour this is um, you know totally configurable we can see okay we're up to date with our application threat intelligence and we're also up to date with our ip geolocation as you can probably understand you know ip addresses can be you know allocated to to regions they can then be reallocated to other regions and you would therefore need to have this information updated if you was blocking on on ip addresses so that's a quick insight into uh, ixia threat armor and you know hopefully you can see the value of having uh, threat armor sitting in front of your security infrastructure to be able to reduce the burden on that infrastructure we're reducing the the work that your you know next gen firewall is, is having to do is now only checking um, from from places that you do business and it's now going to have a better chance of finding like genuine uh, attacks coming in and and moreover all of these uh, the, these connections that, that we're blocking have meant that an alert hasn't gone through to your seam so you know your security team that typically suffer from alert fatigue um, are going to have a much better day because of it so that's uh, Ixia Threat Armor thanks ever so much for your time and I look forward to hearing from you soon.